Optimus Prime, I see not much has changed. Still sniveling, still slimy, and still weak. Optimus claps back with the coldest response. He says, weak. Did you forget our last meeting? Shall I make you cry for mercy a second time? What's up everyone? James here coming at you with another video. Another Transformers video. Now in this video, oh my gosh, Soundwave and Shockwave, AKA the Wave Bros, that's what I call them, are going to dominate the Autobots. And it's glorious, glorious. I hope you enjoy that video and make sure before you continue this video, you pause it, you hit the like button and you comment below, all hail the Wave Bros. Make sure you do that. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, so this picks up with the Autobots closing in on the Decepticons location. And Cliffjumper seems to be piloting Jetfire. So Jetfire really is just a husk. He doesn't even have control of his own body. As that's going on, Shockwave and Soundwave begin their plans. Shockwave says, my long lost brothers are now found. Look at the abundance you have stumbled upon. We will soon be celebrating in the halls of my stronghold. Cybertron's new dawn is upon us. Soundwave replies, agreed, dear brother. Let us begin. He activates the Nemesis, which creates this huge whirlpool in the ocean. Optimus immediately notices something isn't right and tells Cliffjumper to pull up, but it's already too late. The Nemesis fires this massive beam into the sky that hits Jetfire, causing the Autobots to crash at the bottom of the ocean. That's just the beginning of their problems. They end up crash landing right in front of the Constructicons, where they discover the Decepticons have built and activated a space bridge. The Constructicons open fire on them. Cliffjumper, who landed in front of the space bridge, witnesses the devil himself walking through the space bridge portal. Shockwave. He says, the rabble rousers are still fighting, I see. All Optimus responds is, oh no. Shockwave calls the Autobots scum who are interrupting their glorious mission. He transforms into his gun mode, Soundwave wields him and says, let us be done with this foolishness. He fires at Cliffjumper, but Ratchet jumps in front of Cliffjumper and takes the blast for him. The Autobots medic falls. Optimus gets pissed and gives Soundwave a boot to the face, knocking him back. Shockwave transforms and says, Optimus Prime, I see not much has changed. Still sniveling, still slimy, and still weak. Optimus claps back with the coldest response. He says, weak. Did you forget our last meeting? Shall I make you cry for mercy a second time? They charge toward each other. Meanwhile, in Farmingham, Carly, Willjack, and RC are heading to the dam to fix the Energon Turbine. Initially, I was going to skip this, but something very interesting happens here. Suddenly, they're fired upon by citizens, or more veterans, or both, who have taken up arms and formed a militia. So it seems like people are taking a stand and fighting against these giant robots who've caused death and destruction. This is honestly something I can easily see happening in the real world if giant robots arrived here and did the same thing. Carly stands between them and clarifies to the militia who recognize her that these are the good robots. Wheeljack promises they mean them no harm. At Farmingham Hospital, Spike meets with the doctor, who tells him that he doesn't have great news for him when it comes to his recovery. The bullet he was shot with grazed his spine. When Spike asks if he'll ever walk again, the doctor answers that he's learned never to say never, especially when they just learned giant robots exist. However, before he can fully answer Spike's question, Astro Train attacks the hospital. He announces that he's come for Spike. The one thing that surprised me here was when the doctor comes out of the hospital asking Astro Train to stop because there are children and innocent people here, Astro Train replies that he understands his pain and that he doesn't wish to hurt lesser beings but he was sent here by his leader, Soundwave. 
So like Thundercracker, Astral Train has a warrior code that he follows as well. However, he takes out his blaster and threatens that to fulfill his duties, he is willing to wipe out everyone in the hospital in one blast. Spike wheels himself out of the hospital. The doctor tells him to go back inside, but Spike responds that he can't do much, but what he can do is save everyone in the hospital right now. Astro Train admits that he finds Spike's bravery impressive and takes him. Back at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, Optimus is in a 3v1. Jazz tries to hop into his system, but Scrapper bulldozes him out of the fight. Shockwave lifts Optimus and says, you fought dirty last time we fought. I have learned much since that day. Your ending shall be slow and brutal. He hits Optimus with a pile driver, which puts him down for the count. Shockwave gloats at how he has defeated the great Optimus Prime. Meanwhile, on Cybertron, Alita One carrying Ultra Magnus is still trying to find a way out of Shockwave's fortress. She ends up being discovered by the Combaticons. Vortex tries to get the drop on her, but she takes him out. Still looking for a way out, she comes across a corridor with a pink light emanating from it and decides to run toward it. Magnus tries to talk her out of it because they don't know where it leads to. Alita says, no choice old friend, someday we can die in oil and glory, but I made a promise to you and I intend to keep it. She ends up passing through the same portal Shockwave used to come to Earth. Luckily, she runs right into him as he was about to finish off Optimus. Alita sees Optimus and is confused as to where she is. She notices the Combaticons are beginning to come through the portal. Just as they are about to merge and form Bruticus, she grabs Optimus's ion blaster and fires at the portal. Onslaught gets through, but Brawl gets sliced in half when the portal closes. Soundwave has had enough. He fires on the Autobots and orders the Decepticons to finish them. Cliffjumper and Jazz get blasted. Optimus calls out to them. Alita insists they escape, but Optimus refuses to leave without Jazz and Cliffjumper. At that moment, he gets hit by a stray energy blast. Alita, carrying Magnus and dragging Optimus, says, they're gone, we have to go. Transform and roll out. Soundwave orders the Decepticons to chase after them, but Shockwave belays that order and says to let them go. He insists that they focus on fixing the portal and points out that the Autobots are nothing compared to their plan. He discovers that Cliffjumper and Jazz are still alive and tells them that he plans on experimenting on them to see how the years on Earth have affected them. When Thundercracker questions what kind of experiments, Shockwave replies, oh yes, painful experiments. He drags Cliffjumper as he screams for his freaking life. As Estrotrain with Spike approaches the Pacific, Spike asks about the beam of light coming out of the ocean. Astrotrain reveals to him that the Decepticons plan to strip Earth of all of its resources in order to save Cybertron from the disease that currently plagues it. Now what disease is he referring to? We don't find out. He could be referring to the Autobots as the disease, or maybe there's an actual disease destroying Cybertron's resources. The revelations don't end there. Astro Train also tells Spike that Soundwave plans on using him as a gift to Shockwave, a human subject for him to experiment on. It will solidify their partnership because Soundwave may rule the Decepticons, but Shockwave is the leader of Cybertron. Suddenly, this device attaches to Astro Train. It shuts off his power and sends him crashing onto the shore. Someone breaks into Astro Train and says, your name is Spike, right? My name is Beachcomber, and I'm here to rescue you. I know the Beachcomber fans are so excited that he's finally appeared. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Transformer videos, especially the ones in the Energon universe. More is coming. Other than that, have an awesome day, and always remember every day to go beyond.